everyone and welcome back to another video from Erica Kaka um, at my little corner of the youtube -iverse. It's been quite a snotty and coffee one so I've not done a lot of videos because they would just end up a coughing and snotting fest. So I thought I'd spare you. Today's video is um, probably, I, I would say probably but actually probably not, my last Christmas card of the year. I have used the Christmas Poinsettia Star from Picket Fence Studios and I have stamped it up with the embossing ink pad from Wow Embossing and used metallic gold sparkle embossing powder to really bring that sort of extra sparkle and loveliness to the card. And uh, you can see here, I'm using my little cork mat as like a, an under mat thing for my heat embossing. I find this is really, really helpful to avoid um, warping, actually. Plus, it does save your hands because you can just pinch the paper a little bit and, uh, you know, your fingers are underneath the mat, so they're not going to get scorched by the heat gun. This cork mat was like super, super cheap. It's, you know, nothing, nothing special, extraordinary or whatever. But it does the job just fine. Things don't have to be expensive to work, right? That's a good little life hack there. And look at that. Ah, oh, that is gorgeous, if I may say so myself. With heat embossing done and set and cooled, it is time to color. So I'm using the re-inkers from Ink on 3 to color this in. And first I'm going to go over my watercolor cardstock. This is from Canson, I believe. It's Canson XL cardstock. And I'm just going to wet the paper uh, to just kind of prepare the paper a little bit for all the color. And then we're going to speed this up because, you know, it's just water going on the paper. And I'm going to start with Marilyn Red. And I have some of these already dripped into a little like watercolor palette thing. So I'm not going to actually drip in any new. I'm just going to use what I have. And these colors are extremely vibrant. So you really don't need a lot. So these little pots are going to last you a long, long time. They are a very, very good investment. And just look at that. Ah, I love this part, seeing the colors like mix in with the water and just kind of do its own magic. I love this part. Right, so this is all in real time at the moment, but we are in a tiny little bit, gonna speed this up and jump into a time lapse. And we're off. It's actually more fun, I think, to watch the coloring in uh, in a speed lapse because it just you see it coming to life so much quicker. And those colors just kind of going out, doing their own thing. It's brilliant. And this is a lovely way of making sure you can actually mass produce these. So you stamp up loads of images heat emboss them and then you color and none of them are going to be exactly the same. That's one of the beauties of watercoloring, I think. So you may have the same design, but the cards are not going to look exactly the same. Right, so with my original uh, or first layer of uh, color down, I'm uh, going to go in with a little bit more water to kind of help the color spread out and just sort of soften up the look and also add more water because we are gonna add more color as well. And you know how normal poinsettias are really rich, rich red, like really deep and lovely. I, I do love poinsettias, they're, you know, one of my favorite like Christmas flowers. But it's really hard to recreate that on paper without it just looking like a big red blob, you know, like a massacre blood massacre somebody's come in and just like slapped a little blood on your paper but in order to add a little bit of depth and sort of extra I guess not texture but extra um, sort of layers 
contrast? I don't know what the word I'm looking for here at the moment, actually, to be honest, I'm just babbling. But we're going to add in a little bit of marigold orange just to kind of separate each petal from, from each other to kind of give it a little bit more of a standout look. But first, more water because, you know, yeah, it's watercoloring after all, isn't it? If you're really conscious for time, this alone could actually make quite a spectacular Christmas card. Sometimes more is less, or less is more. I'm gonna claim the language barrier thing here now because I have been saying um, speed lapse when it's supposed to be time lapse and you know all that other nonsense, but eh, if you, if you know me, <laughs> you know probably by now that there's a whole lot of jippy chappering and nonsense going on in these videos, so uh, bear with me. Anyway, so we are hopping in now to the marigold orange, and I'm adding all these colors with one of these uh, watercolor brushes to make sure that it's not all too sort of con um, concentrated, that's the word. Um, but it just, you know, it helps add the, the colors in together and blend them out and you know, it's already making such a difference. You know, you kind of see each petal starting to stand out a little bit more on its own and stuff. And if you wanted to have a much softer look, of course, just add, you know, don't add as much color. Or if you want a really, really vibrant look, you just keep adding colors and layers until you're happy. Like everybody likes, you know, different styles. So you just keep on playing until you find your style and have fun with it. So we are almost done here adding in the orange on the petals and uh, and then of course we're going to fill in the little uh, bits in the middle, the stamens as well and here I'm just adding in lots of orange and then I'm going to wipe off my paintbrush and add quite a lot of like concentrated ink to kind of make them more, uh, not all of them but you know add a little bit of shading and, um, and contrast to them as well. And with the actual flower done, to just bring it to life a little bit, I am going to add green around it because I didn't actually color in any, I didn't add any leaves or anything to this one. I just made them all poinsettia petals. So this just kind of brings in the, you know, the green for Christmas as well. And um, I'm just going around the edges with a little bit of color and just adding in more around the actual petals to kind of, you know, just add a bit of shading and some color. And then it's just going softer and softer out towards the edges. And there we have it. Now with a final little sentiment from the A Season of Giving stamp set, I have heat embossed this in metallic gold rich and cut it out very, very simple. So this is on white cardstock. And then I have just simply glued that to the bottom of my card. And that is it done, completely done. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed all this uh, chippy choppering nonsense. And uh, if you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channels. I will link all the products I've used at the bottom in the description comments. Thank you so much again, and I hope to see you soon.